Hello everyone. So in this video, we are talking about AWS IAM Identity Center. Now you guys must be already aware about AWS Identity and Access Management Service, which lets you create users. Then it lets you assign policies, which are nothing but permissions, and then it also lets you create rules. But this you need to do in every single account. What if your organization has multiple accounts, multiple AWS accounts? And in that scenario, creating user in every AWS account is very difficult, right? Uh, and creating and or doing a cross account is again as uh, cross account access is also very difficult. Okay. So what AWS has done to solve this is that you can create or you can use this service known as AWS IAM Identity Center, which centrally lets you manage workforce access to multiple AWS accounts and applications. It's not limited to AWS accounts, but you can also integrate your applications to it. Okay, so if you want to compare it with uh, the famous service, we have something known as Azure Active Directory, where you can add multiple Microsoft services such as Azure subscription, um, Microsoft 365, okay? And then you can simply, uh, your users can do a single, can get a single sign-on experience. In the same way in AWS, if you have multiple AWS accounts and if you have AWS applications, or else if you have some third-party applications, and you want to create a user in a centralized place, and that user should be able to access all the AWS accounts based on the permissions they have and uh, the applications. Then in that scenario, Identity Center is a service which you can use. So what benefit or what this service do? So it create you can create or connect your workspace identity only once for use across AWS. Okay, so you can create a thing. You can have one, one account where you can enable the service. You can create all the users within that account, and then you can connect other account, other account to the service, and you can easily manage their permission. Then centrally manage your workspace access to multiple AWS account. Okay, so the permissions to different account. So first part the take care of authentication to different account, then it also takes care of the authorization, right? And you can assign user permission based on their uh, common job function or attributes. Okay, so same IAM roles can be used over here. Okay, same IAM policies can be used over here. Okay, and they can be given access. To your users can be given access uh, to different resources. Okay, and provide uh, your workforce single sign-on to cloud applications. So it's not limited to creating one account user account in one centralized place, but once the user account is created and user wants to authenticate, he can authenticate to multiple AWS account. If your company has development, testing, production account with a single sign-on experience, plus you can integrate your AWS applications such as AWS Workspace, or you can integrate uh, AWS WorkDoc or WorkMail, or even third-party applications such as Zoom Meetings or Microsoft Teams. You can be integrated in this service, and then your user can get a single sign-on experience. Okay, so this is what the service is all about. Now, why you should use Identity Center? Simple, ease of management of your user. You don't need to create in certain places. So to explain you in an architectural way, this is your Identity uh, Center service where you will create all your users which are part of your organization. And then you can connect multiple AWS account and the user can access AWS console, AWS CLI. Once they have created multiple account AWS console and CLI, you can also integrate third-party IDP. So if you have Azure Active Directory already, okay, and you don't want to create the users, so in that scenario, you can integrate Azure Active Directory with Identity Center. Okay, so instead of integrating it with 10 different AWS account, enable this service in one AWS account, connect all the accounts to this service, and then you create a federation or a IDP, external IDP with Azure Active Directory or any other uh, identity provider. It could be Okta, uh, one, uh, one login. Okay. It can be integrated in multiple IDPs. Okay. And you can also integrate your third party applications such as uh, Zoom meetings as well as AWS application, as I mentioned, workspace or workmail. Okay. So this is why, and this is the architecture of the service. This is how it would work. Okay. So what feature does it provide? Centralized management for your users. You can create all the identities over here. Integration with third-party IDP. Okay. And you can also integrate MFA. Right. You can integrate multi-factor authentication over here. 
then fine grain permission and assignments. Okay, so you can assign policies to your users or rules okay, based on your job based on their job function. Okay, you can use or you can integrate CloudTrail service okay for a recording of any user activities. That's why the recording button over here. And it provides you security, all right? Security by doing a fine grain access. Okay, then it provides you governance. As I said, you can integrate CloudTrail. CloudTrail provides you uh, the governance, okay? And it integrates with AWS organization service as well, okay? And it can be integrated with guard duty for and finding any threats or anomalous activity in your account, okay? So use cases, so multiple multi-account access to your AWS accounts, then single sign-on for your AWS application and AWS accounts. Single sign-on access to Windows-based machines. So it can also do a single sign-on to EC2 Windows-based machine and cloud-based applications such as Workspace or WorkDocs, okay? Uh, or you can even QuickSight for that, say. It can be integrated with that also for a single sign-on. So that is the use case. Now, this service, since it's a management service, there is no separate costing for this service. Okay, so it's free just like identity and access management service. Okay, and you can... You, you can simply use it without paying any. So this was about the AWS IAM Identity Center service. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.